Okay, Evan, let's, Evan, please, we're back on the air now. You can, boy, Evan was getting heated there about Michigan State in the break. Um, I do want to ask a question to you about Ohio State later in the hour. We'll get more of the calls as well, but it's time for who said it. All right, this is where Roberto curates a list of things our coworkers have had to say. TJ chose ribs over this segment. <laughs> he and took ribs he over went? me. Ribs? He, he had to get home. Ribs are on the smoker. That's huh. not right. All right, so today we have a little twist. It's a MSU coaching edition of Who Said It? So we're talking, guys are talking about, you know, the old regime, possible new regimes, and you guys have to guess who said it. All heard this week. You ready to play? That's Dare good. I say I'm actually interested. Okay. Let's, <laughs> let's good. Try I'm glad this. to hear that. Here we go. Here we go. First one. He is not likely to get another head coaching job with that kind of contract. He might get a position coaching job somewhere, maybe the NFL. Okay, this sounds like they're talking about Tuck. Mm-hmm. That's the ultimate no bleep statement. Yeah, but I don't know what his contract would have to do with him getting another. They're like, saying they're never not paying it. They're the saying next team. he'll never see that type of money. Oh. Another hundred million dollar contract. Well, yeah, water's wet. One more time. He's not likely to get another head coaching job with that kind of contract. He might get a position coaching job somewhere, maybe the NFL. Sounds like Doug Karsh to me. Why? Because he was saying it's not going to happen, and then it's like, well, maybe the NFL. Like, he wasn't totally in on and it. See, I'm going to go I can just Stoney, hear Doug same thing. reason, okay. kind of both sides of the coin. I'm sitting in David's seat right now, so I don't, Gator's a jerk. I'm picking Gator. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I mean, that's what David would say. I just oh felt the spirit. God. Wow. Jeez. I don't know if you would have said he was a jerk. I he argue, you said I Gator. All right. Could it, <laughs> could it be Wojo? I mean, Wojo always uses way too many words to say things. Say nothing. It could be, and Roberto loves Wednesdays with Wojo. Would he come right out the gate? Because it's less effort. <laughs> Is there any way they asked him about it on Wednesday, though? Sure, you had Stoney saying Bill Belichick to be the head coach. <laughs> That's facetious, right? Uh, no, John wanted to kill him. <laughs> I'll say Wojo. Who said it? All right, let's see who said it. He's not going yes. wow, nice to get another likely. Wow, nice job. Thank you. Get another head coaching job with that kind of contract. Okay, I've heard he enough. Might Thank get you. Position coaching All job. Right. Also, also shout out the Stony sleepover. The fact that Karsh is allowing Mike Stone in his home for an 8 p.m. kick. Stoney, even money, is packing his pajamas. He's staying the night Well, there's got to be like a 10 p.m. kick that he's going to want to stay for. <laughs> right. <laughs> After the Michigan game, so, yeah. It's it's an, it'll be Cal day. in Washington at 1030. Act all 12 right. after dark. Let's, let's hear who's next. All right, here we go. Harlan Barnett put up a pretty good face yesterday in front of the podium and the cameras and the microphones, and I think he is a cool, calming influence. I'm going to say John because John is the most patronizing SOB on the planet regarding Michigan State. Right here, buddy. Oh, I was going to say that sound. <laughs> that actually does sound like Gator to me because it seemed like he was a fan of Harlan Barnett. Yeah, but the way John talks about, oh, you know, Harlan, I mean, he's a Spartan. It only makes sense. I, I just, I, I hear I, him I, saying I, it. I, I heard Jansen as well. For the same reason you guys said, I'm actually going to say Wojo. Oh, Wojo's trying to get MSU to hire somebody from the Home Depot tiling section to be our head coach. <laughs> <laughs> Can you spell MSU? <laughs> U-M. All right, you're hired. Stunning. Roberto, who said it? Who said it? No, Harlan Barnett puts up a pretty good face yes! yesterday in front of the phone. Oh, my God. Yes! And microphones and, God, and I, Gator! I think he's a cool, calming influence. And I promise I haven't heard Honest any of this God, this week. Do you have any self-respect, Scott? Kenny, Davis disappointed in you. <laughs> I think he's not disappointed for the first pick. How, as a Spartan fan, could you go out there after that effort and talk about what a good face he put up? Maybe that he was that from it. this week. Yeah, he had. It, it has to be the name of the game is this week. You know, uh, Roberto's little deal. Audio you've heard this week on this station. Right. Who he, knows? He, he had to you. go up there, but you could tell he didn't want to go up there. Like, hey, Harlan, did you know they set a record? They had over seven hundred yards. Really? Wow. Sweet. Okay. You know what? That's on me. All right, I'm all guys. <laughs> right. <laughs> like he didn't know.
He should have skipped the press conference like Noah Kim. Jeez. Oh, it only felt like 600 yards. Yeah, right. Getting treat. But what about Kim the kicker? I bet he'd go up there Next. and talk. <laughs> All right, here we go. The perfect coach could be sitting in the MAC, and you know, guys, well, you know, Joe, it's, well, it's a Joe. cute little yeah. job doing well, going to Michigan State, and don't yeah. expect much. And you know, you can win from the MAC. Whoa, Joe! Yep. The whoa, creep Joe. who lives alone with a Christmas tree. Wednesday, whoa, Joe. Would whoa, Joe? I yeah, want to whoa, go Joe. a little different. I'm going to say, but did was cute like an ad lib, or did it was that really in the quote? Roberto. What do you mean? No, this person did say cute little job. Then yeah, it's yeah. whoa, Joe. Yeah. Okay, who said it? You know, the perfect coach could be sitting in the Mac, and you guys, oh, it was a cute you little job. Don't expect much, and you, know, good. you know, you can win from the Mac. You should get a fifty percent from that because that is Rico imitating. Whoa, yeah, that's the reverse of the reverse. <laughs> okay. That was good. That's very good. But that is Wojo basically said, "How do you know?" I think Wojo's direct quote was, "Well, you know." The, the perfect coach might be sitting in the Mac. We just don't know. <laughs> okay. That was good. God, I hate this game. All right, next. All right, here we go. I really hope they take a thorough, thorough search and don't try to get the next coach that's glib and gabby and cool and everything else. That's stony. Who uses the word glib? And Costa wasn't on this week, I was about to say, was right? Costa on this week? No. No, it's that stone. Glib. Gabby. Gab. Glib. I don't even know if those are like real descriptive words, but so you I don't know what the hell they're talking Could it about? possibly be gov? It's one of the two. It's one of the two. One right? more time, real quick, Roberto. Glib? I really hope they get a thorough, thorough search and, and don't try to get the next coach that's glib and gabby and cool and everything else. I mean, you have to be a hundred years old to use the term glib. Wait a minute. Think. No. You got into Harvard. Think, damn it. <laughs> we were one selection too early. This is Wojo. I think this is Wojo. Oh, Woj could be saying glib and glab, yeah. I mean, oh, he, he is using, using that columnist. And I think vernacular. he has written stories where they need to do the right search. Like, yes, you can prevent what happened in a coaching search. Right. Like, get out of here. It might Let be Let me Woj. see your phone records, coach. Yes. Glib. Oh, you text ladies. Mm. Glib. Going to put you on the maybe pile. Does Gov know what the word glib means? Nah, he ain't going that deep in I'll his go bag. Wojo then. <laughs> I'm going to say Stony. I'll we... go Gov to cover our backsides here. Okay. Somebody's got to be right. Is somebody right? Who said it? I really hope they take a thorough, thorough search and – and don't try to get the next coach that's uh, glib and gabby and cool and everything else. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Run this back and listen to if you put if you open a dictionary and you see disingenuous there. This audio file plays. Listen to how serious a guy who's made a career making jokes and fart noises and hey, we can have sandwiches song. Listen to him trying to play Maury Safer on 60 Minutes. I really hope they take a thorough, thorough search and, and don't try to get the next coach that's uh, glib and gabby and cool it's and like, everything else. And <laughs> cool? You don't want to hire a coach that's cool? Just go find some nice person, run wow. this, <laughs> run this uh, lemonade stand. No the craziest thing. Just milk toast, oh, middle I really, of the road. Oh, do you, Bob? Don't, oh, you do. Don't worry about wins. Just take your time. You'll get there eventually. You rat bastard. <laughs> It's like, I really hope Michigan wins this week. Would you take that serious? That's what I was hearing. But he has been writing, like, you need to do a thorough search. And I just don't know how you would avoid that. Is there a way to avoid that? No, you can't. You don't know what people do in their private I lives. mean, yeah, he's asking MSU to do a background search when his school hired a racist with no background check. You know, he was the right son. That's not the Shemmy I knew. He, oh. he wasn't the adopted son. <laughs> so I got to tell you, the set of balls on that guy. <laughs> Background check, huh? <laughs> that doesn't go in your permanent record, the weird stuff you did on a cell phone. Next. Oh, there is no next. We're up no, against we're it. Good. I'm so upset. <laughs> I really go to hell. <laughs> he 
doesn't hope for that. Exactly. Just say what you mean, Bob. You hate us. That's who said it.